The audience went crazy when he was crowned the overall winner of Series 6 of The Voice Australia. Uh, the shy Queenslander returns home later this week as one of the stars of the Gimpy Music Master. It is a pleasure to welcome to Brisbane's 96.5 King Judah. Well, that's his stage nickname, <laughs> otherwise known to you and me as Judah Kelly. Good afternoon, Judah. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Is this the first time officially you've been back to your home state of Queensland since winning The Voice? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, I went I went two months without being back home and then finally I'm back here, which is pretty good. <laughs> Where is home these days? Because you were born in Townsville, but you've lived all over the place in the very brief 20 years you've been on this planet. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm uh, I'm actually living in Langley at the moment, which is uh, in between Ipswich and Toowoomba. That's a nice little quiet town. Lately, indeed. Now, look, you've been singing since the age of 10. Is this a dream you always had, that one day you'd become recognised, a respected performer in your own right? Absolutely, yeah. My mum actually says uh, that I was named Judah which means to praise or or to sing Um, for that reason. She had a dream before I was conceived that she would fall pregnant with a boy who would be musical. To them, anyway, it was never really a surprise that I wanted to to follow a music career because, you know, she didn't tell me until years later that that's the dream she had before I was born. Wow. Your name, Judah, certainly has spiritual overtones and connotations, obviously. Has that been a big part of your life over the years, the the, the, the spiritual side of everything you've been doing and who you are? Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it has been. You know, and, and that's just, that's how I was raised, you know. It was always a, a thing of faith and, you know, especially, <laughs> like it was always music that was going to be what I did. Um, even at times of, you know, I was completely broke, I had negative amount of money in my bank account and my car would break down. So now I've, you know, got a mechanics bill <laughs> and I have no way to pay it, but, you know, somehow I always managed to do it. I, I think it's, it's through that, just that, you know, bit of faith. And now finally I'm, I'm reaping the benefits of all that, that struggle pretty much. Yeah. You've played the Gimpy Music Muster before as a backup muso to other artists. <laughs> but, yeah. but this year, you're on centre stage and you've got people playing for you. I mean, how cool is that? I know. It's quite a weird feeling. Um, I've, I've played lots of big festivals, never as a singer, though. So uh, it, it'll be interesting to see... You know, just the the uh, different reaction and, and different feelings that I'll go through maybe being on the other side of it, really, you know. Mm. I'm not the one playing for someone. Someone else is playing for me, <laughs> uh, which I'm not exactly used to yet anyway. Does it do your head in at times? You know, it, it's, it's a surprise, you mm. know, because people, uh, just the fact that people recognise me and, and things like that where I'm used to hanging out with with other people that other people recognise. You know, it's not usually me that gets the attention. I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm liking it so far. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are. He describes his music as country with soul. Judah Kelly is this year's winner of The Voice and he's with me this afternoon on Brisbane's 96.5 as he slowly makes his way to Gympie for the annual music muster, which uh, starts tomorrow through until Sunday. Uh, Judah, you've already touched on this. It, it hasn't been an easy road for for you, and you're the first to admit that you had doubts and times of darkness, and it's been your your, your faith in in God that we heard you share earlier a few minutes ago that that's really brought you through those really challenging times. Yeah, absolutely. It was struggle, and there was always struggle, but I knew, you know, there was something better coming. So I never really lost faith. And I guess that's why your signature song, Count On Me, is so powerful. And that's a song I'll be playing shortly. It talks about coping in those desperate places. And people really connect with that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And that's that's why I like the song. You know, it was, it was my you know, winner's single from the show. And, and before they presented songs, I, I kind of just said to them, look, 
I don't want another song that just adds to the void of useless music because there's there's enough of that going around, you know, just meaningless songs. I said I want something with a bit of guts, something that, you know, says something. And, and I, I think Count On Me is that. Going through darkness and, and going through those tough times and having some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. And when, when you're struggling... You know, you can count on me to be there for you too. You've got at least three gigs during the Gimpy Music Master. You're on main stage uh, tomorrow night, Thursday night, then at the Crowbar Friday afternoon, and uh, then that same venue on, on Sunday night. What are the other messages that you feel strongly about that you'll be sharing through your music? Yeah, just fun. There's, there's not enough of it, I think. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a very serious time at the moment. You know, the world's going through a bit of a, a rough patch, I guess. And that's that's what I love about music. It's somewhere that people can go just to just to have fun and, and relax. Even even if it's just you know the weekly work working grind that that people are struggling with. You know, you can go away to to a pretty awesome music festival and, and have a bit of fun and and hang out with your friends. Well, enjoy the master as a performer this time. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be different. <laughs> and I really appreciate you joining me this afternoon on Brisbane's 96.5 and looking forward to following your career in the months and the years ahead. All the best. Thank you again, Judah Kelly. Oh, thank you.